What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and today we are decorating the week of January 10th in my social media planner. The layout that I'm using is the Happy Planners teacher layout. I really like the way that it's set up with a grid and it's lined so I have space to write and it's become one of my favorite layouts that the Happy Planner does because of how flexible it is and how functional it is. So this is what we're using today. And I'm gonna use a combination of the Align sticker book. I'm going to use, let me see, some Mambi sticks for dating. And then I want to combine the uh, the Align, so I grabbed this book just, just in case I want some boxes. Um, the Align with some stickers from According to Ally. So I grabbed some functional um, little kind of headers. I bought, so, bought, I brought out some, pulled, oh my goodness, you guys. I pulled out some days of the week. And most importantly, because the Align stuff is so neutral, I want to add a little bit of color. And I'm not sure if I want that color to be purple or if I want it to be this neutral alcohol ink. So I grabbed both of those. So if I use any small shop stickers today, it will be from According to Ally, And yeah, but the stars of the show will be the Align stickers. So I think just to get a baseline for how this is going to look, I want to pull out my biggest stickers. I already grabbed my Days of the Week, which I'm gonna use these large Mambi sticks. So I pulled those out. And I want to use these, where are they? These rays, these like sun rays. And rather than worrying about all the lines on here, I'm just gonna stick them down where I want them and I'm not gonna deal with widening things out. Oh, <laughs> let me backtrack. So the teacher layout typically has Monday through Friday down here. So this is a dated planner but I widened it all out because I'm gonna put different areas that I wanna track and plan for, like subject areas this way, and then the days of the week this way. Or actually, I'm gonna do some up here and some down here. So just so you know, it does come dated Monday through Friday, and then you put the subjects up at the top, but since I'm not using it as a teacher and I want all seven days of the week, I move the seven days of the week to the top and I use the subjects down this way. So jump on the gun there. I'm trying to be really, I don't know, more efficient with my, with my planning. So I think I'm moving a little bit too quickly. So I'm going to lay these stickers down first. These are the big, the big ones. And they are very, wow, they're very aggressive. And I just lost two sections of writing. For the most part, I could put some box, maybe I'll put some boxes there. So the thing with the Align stuff is that there's a lot of, talk, <clears throat> excuse me, talk about balance. And I think I'm gonna take that theory with this spread and just be balanced. So I'm gonna counterbalance everything on the other page. So if I put that big old ray up there, I'm gonna balance it with the big old ray down here. And then because they're taking up opposite, um, like this is taking the top, this is taking the bottom, I think I'm gonna put my days of the week in different places. So I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, since those Mambi sticks are so big, I'll put them here and then I'll put Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday over here. I think that'll work. I don't know. We're just trying to figure things out. I have an idea in my head today I don't often have ideas, I just kind of go with it. But I have a very rough idea of how I think this could look, and we're just gonna go for it. I just like that this is a bold sticker, and it, I like Mambi sticks, and this isn't technically a Mambi stick, but I like large stickers like Mambi sticks and like these large books because they do cover a big area of space all at once. And uh, so if you're in a rush with decorating, you can throw some big stickers down and it looks good instantly. So this is a boning tool, it's a paper folding tool. Well, it's called a bone, it's a paper folding tool. And I use it to kind of push 
push the air out so that these clear stickers really kind of blend into the page. So we've got these guys down. Let's go ahead and put in the days of the week, if I can find where I put those. Maybe they're hiding. They are hiding. And because I've already lost writing space in this top section, I'm going to concentrate my days of the week into that top section. And I just have to decide, do I want them to be pretty straight or kind of wonky? I guess it depends on whether or not maybe a W would fit inside the section. So let's see. We got Monday would be like that. Tuesday, just center. And then if you're wondering what the R is for, I work in higher ed and with class schedules in higher, oh no, oh my goodness. In higher ed, we use R for Thursday to differentiate Tuesday and Thursday. We don't worry about it with Saturday, Sunday because we don't have classes Saturday, Sunday. I think I can get this to work if I just do them all straight. This is going to be a very aggressive aggressive planner spread. It's going to be very professional. Do we want to add some alcohol ink? That would be kind of interesting. I think it might be too much in that particular location. So we're not going to do that. Anyway, so that's why I use R for Thursday. I have a lot of people ask every time I do it over on Instagram. And I thought it was a thing. I thought everybody knew that R is Thursday, an abbreviation for Thursday, but it is not a thing. I thought it was a thing and it is not. All right, so we're gonna throw Monday down. And I might not put the dates unless I can find some sly way, sly way to do the dates. We'll see. I might have to maybe put it in a corner or something. But I think this looks cool already. So how are you guys doing this week? How's it going? How you been? I'm doing all right. I've tried to pop into my stories as much as possible over the last week, which only ended up being a couple times. But for those of you that hang out with me over on Instagram, I hope it was good to see that I am here and alive. I've had a lot of doctor's appointments lately not fun, but essential. And uh, started a new medication and it's made me more, I don't know, moody and low energy and super tired. And so if you've noticed even my like planning videos, I haven't done that many. And when I do, I feel like I'm a little off. Like maybe you guys can't tell, in which case I shouldn't say anything because you wouldn't know the difference. But I definitely feel a little off. So if you're like, where's the old Elizabeth? She's here. Uh, it's just been all really kind of tricky last couple of couple of weeks. Okay, so since we did this up here, we're following the align rhythm of keeping things balanced. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the days of the week here. And again, the R is for Thursday. This week is national sticker week so i've been trying to use as many stickers as possible this week in honor of this joyous joyous week for all of us planners out there that love stickers and love to talk about stickers and use stickers all the stickers um super duper fun and if this is too i don't know strict not strict but like i don't know boring not colorful. My catch-all planner is incredibly colorful. So if you feel like you're missing that vibe, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I don't know if I'm posting this one first, but I have already decorated my catch-all and she is, she's colorful. She is very, very colorful. Okay. So let's grab these guys and make a decision about whether or not I want to use um, a clear sticker or a paper sticker. I'm kind of on a clear kick right now, so I'll go ahead and grab January and throw that down here since we covered it up. Just do that. 
and I'm trying to think. If I'm going to do alcohol ink, I think this is now a little too bright. If I'm gonna do any, it would have to be, I think, this pink. But even now I'm kind of thinking, kind of thinking I don't like it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do we add some color a la alcohol ink? I kind of wish maybe like greens would look better, like sagey greens, olivey greens. Let me grab the sticker book. I'm pretty sure I have some green. Bright, we don't want bright, purple. Oh, there's khaki. Oh, see, there is sage and it's got some gold in it. So let's go with green, green with the gold and put back the purple. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this out, but I'm still not quite sure how to incorporate these. So let's look at this mini book. I don't have the classic size sticker book, which probably would be more helpful than this because these are small, although some of these designs are super cool. Like if I wanted to add some, some more gold, look at these. These stickers are super nice. There are some boxes if I want to go more functional. Oh, you know what? I've never checked to see if the mini sticker book checklists, would these fit in a teacher planner? They're a little bit longer. No, wait, hold on. Let me give it an earnest and let me do it on this. Almost, you guys. So there's a fun fact for you. Mini mini checklists in the mini books kind of fit. That's kind of nice to know. Noted, noted, noted. Okay, let's keep looking. Um, yeah, because I was kind of thinking it might be nice to add some boxes. I'm not sure about any of these appointments. There's some gray boxes. These are the black ones. So there are black boxes. Are there seven though of this size? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Oh, but then there's these ones. So after a ridiculous amount of flipping through this book and not being sure what I'm doing with my life, I did pause and take these numbers from According to Allie and pop them in these boxes. And so I do want to date this and that's how we are going to do it. So I'm just gonna grab these. And because I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday like this, I'll do the days of the week in the opposite location. So we're gonna do this down here. And I'm gonna go, I wanna kind of fill in space but I wanna go in just a little bit into the box. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom, center it and just put it on that bottom row. And then when I go up here, I'll do the same thing and put it, yeah, I think to the top row that way. So let's lay these guys down. Dates have been laid down. I did end up lifting 10, 11, and 12 up to the second line because I wanted there to be balance with the amount of margin that we have up at the top here. We didn't have that much down here, so I, I did adjust for that. And because we've kind of lost the subject row option because of these big <laughs> stickers, I can't do that this way. So I have to go back old school and really think of this as column, column, column for each day of the week. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and not pay too much mind to whether or not I'm keeping to the same subject all the way across, right? Because we have different boxes available. So I know that I want to keep track of stats for the week and my posts and stories, and I can do that pretty easily with what's here without adding a lot more, but I might want a little bit more writing space. And so I do want to add a long margin sticker. And I think the only place, since this is a mini sticker book, I'm not going to get a big margin sticker from, from this Align sticker book. So 
I'm gonna go into my Live Love Posh Functionally Chic sticker book, which is exactly as it sounds. It's mostly functional uh, boxes. There are some florals and some lace, and then um, clear stickers, lots of clear stickers. So I think I still have some long margin stickers here in the back that I'm gonna grab. And this will cover up the white out and just give me more writing space. So that is what we're gonna do. And I'll grab one of these. The question is whether or not I wanna add anything underneath it. Ugh, and that's my conundrum because I did wanna add some green. And I'm starting to think maybe if I want my focus to be on balance, for the spread this week. If I put one of these guys down here with some green, I could put one over here with some green and just write in this box on Sunday instead of writing in the lines. Just honestly, just for, for the sake of balance. And I'm kind of tempted, I'm kind of tempted to do that, but will it be too, will it be too controlled? I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down because of this, I am certain. And it's not going to cover all of the white out. And I have to figure out how low I want to go or if I wanna kind of center it. If I, go, if I go low, that gives me an excuse for another box up here up high. So I think I am going to do that. And I'm just gonna line it up to the dotted line at the bottom and just hope that I'm pretty straight. Yep. And do I go for it? Do I go with the word balance hardcore and actually lay this guy down? I kind of want to see what it'll look like. It's a little crooked. <laughs> but we have stuck with the theme of balance. So that's good. So we're still balanced, right? Um, now we just gotta talk about the sage. Hmm. Do we wanna add sage? Oof -da. Let's just let's just pull a piece off and see. what it would look like if I just added a splotch. If I added a splotch just like right there. Mm, I'm gonna set it down. Sometimes you just gotta lay it down and see what happens. I don't know, I kinda like it. Let's see what it looks like kind of blended in. I kind of like it. I think because this paper has like a little bit of a yellow tinge to it, it looks more involved. But then when you see it on white paper, it looks different. I kind of like that. I kind of like that a lot. I know I have another piece that's just like that. Are we going next level? Kind of feel like we're going next level with the symmetry and balance. Should I just own it? Use the same exact piece of sage over on the side and see how it layers. It's going to get pretty close to the S though. That's my only concern, but maybe that's okay. What if it looked kind of cool? Too much? Is it too much? <gasps> Ooh, I don't know. I kind of think it's too much. Let's see if I can lift it up. Hopefully it's not too late. Gently, 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 gently. Okay. Unless I kind of move it in a different location or I go this way like that. That could be cute. Let's do that. I just didn't want it overlapping with the S. Something didn't seem right about that. 
but I think that could work. All right, so we've added some of that. I do wanna have, hmm. let's go back to Functionally Chic. And maybe there's some boxes in here that are kind of a mid, mid range. Those are too big. These are a little bit smaller. So what if I kind of used up a little bit more space like that? Mm, that would end up covering. Oh, I don't like that. But I don't need a box here. If I'm using that, I could just kind of combine. Should I do it? And just just to make sure I'm still getting some space. So this will be where I track. And then I can decide if I wanna put some sagey green around it. So I finished laying down the boxes and then I added boxes on these, these guys just for a little extra like highlight space for tracking stuff. And then I'm gonna leave this open. I'm gonna leave this open for just writing down to-dos and maybe posts and, let's see, to-dos, posts, and then stories. So I've got three sections there and I have to decide, do I want to add, I wanna add any of these prompts. So I do have some other phrases that I could use. So maybe we just go for it. So I will put, um, I'm gonna put post. So I wanna make sure I have something for each um, day. So like post will be for this section. And then since they're off kilter, I will grab post for here because I think I need the least amount of writing space for just logging what I posted. So I will put post up here and that way, again with the balance, accidentally didn't mean to be this uptight about it, but that way the post is going to be in alignment with the days of the week. So, and then what else did I want? I wanted to do Oh, I wanted to see if there's like notes or like to do something like that. Important, maybe priority. Um, priority and remember might be the words I want. Pick up, drop off, study, homework. Just gotta be a to do. And there's a today, to do and today. So let's pull this guy out. Y'all, my desk is a mess. It is such a mess, okay. So I think these Instagram and YouTube ones are too specific for this particular moment in time. And I think we will have it be today will be where I put anything about like what's going on today or what happened in my stories. So we'll have this be today and we'll just go right up at the top. And then just to mirror that, that would be this one, right? So we'll do today right there, which actually ends up being all the way across. Interesting. So then do I put a sticker for here? I think so, because at this point we're seeing these pages as two separate elements that happen to be balanced. So yes. So today is where I'll put my musings, posts will be my posts. And then let's use the priority sticker. And I think it's just comes down to preference of word, important versus priority. So let's do that. So priority, we'll put right here. These are so, these are cut so well, but you have to be very careful with them because she did such a close cut. And then priority. For the other side. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky because of that punch. That's kind of annoying. Mm, I'm gonna 
have to go lower. Not ideal, but it just has to be. <gasps> I don't like it. <laughs> Too much of a perfectionist, friends. But I think it's got to be like that because, yeah, I don't like that these are spaced the way that they are. But if I move today, then, yeah, it'll be a little too off balance. Unless, let's see if I can lift this up without ruining it. But if I go in a little bit, that will also be off balance. Can anybody relate to me right now? Or if I went like that, that'd be different. Hmm. Uh. I think I'd rather see this as two separate pages. Let's see what this looks like on discs. That might make a huge difference. And then I'll also know if I wanna add more, um, more sage. So let me grab that. Here it is on discs, and I feel like it still needs some color, but I'm nervous to add more sage. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I guess because I feel like if I go too hardcore with the sage, like if I filled it in up here and down here, it'll be a little bit too much. Maybe what I can do is just add a little bit of zhuzh underneath these boxes. And in order to make that happen, I think I want to, I want to save as much of this sticker as I can, or I could use one of these bigger ones. But I want it to be mostly like behind this box, which means it's gotta be a little bit lower, maybe like that. So what I'm gonna do is pull this guy off and see if it's possible to cut just enough off to be able to butt it up against the bottom and make it seem like the rest of it is kind of underneath like that. Ooh, ooh, I think I like it. And I mean, if I'm gonna do that over here, I probably wanna use this could be kind of tricky. How can I make this work? Because now it's getting really wide. A lot wider. Hmm. But if I put it like this, let's go ahead and lift it up if I can without making too big of a mess. I'm okay if it rips a little bit. But if I put this like so, I go like that. Now seeing that, it makes me want to put a little bit more up here in that kind of area. So I'm just kind of moving this around. The thought was, if I go like this, see if I can lift this guy up without laying some undo down. I'm going to pull this back and kind of just slide it in. I think I might just have hit the nail on the head with that. So we've got a little extra green on there, but like not too much green, you know? I didn't want it to get too cluttered. Okay, oh my gosh, I think we're done. This is strange, this is a strange layout. So we've got Monday the 10th, Tuesday the 11th, Wednesday the 12th, Thursday the 13th, Friday the 14th, Saturday the 15th, and Sunday the 16th. And it's still vertical planning, but it's just kind of flipped it on, on its head a little bit. What do you guys think? Some of you are going to hate this, and that's okay. 
That is A-OK -okay because it's my planner. <laughs> it's all good in the hood. Uh, this was really fun and different for me to think about. So I enjoyed putting it to, together for you guys and hope it was fun to watch. I'm um, trying to think. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments down below. Come hang out with me on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you enjoyed hanging out with me today, I hope that you'll come back. And that means subscribing to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post. And uh, yeah, we'll hang out again sometime. Until then, God bless you, friend. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.